starting this clip out on uh, the side of the road with a friend's 240 that I'm tuning, uh, LSS 13. This thing's pretty gangster actually, except for the fact that there's no belt now. So he's up walking looking for the belt and I'm sitting here starting this clip off. Um, yeah, so trying to focus on the channel a little bit more and realizing that I uh, need more content, need more consistent content. The Corvette was something I really liked. Um, I really, really liked the Corvette. And you know what? I'm gonna be sitting here for a minute, so I might as well get comfy, but uh, I really liked the Corvette. It was something that I always wanted. But you know what? Content, keeping myself occupied and keeping you guys occupied is more of the goal. So with that, uh, as usual, it's me. I get bored and I flip cars. This year I'm going on, I think, 40 or 50 cars. It's, yeah, it's getting kind of out of hand actually, but um, here I am tuning. HP tuners and my friend's car just hanging out waiting for him to get back with the belt hopefully that he finds um, oh we're not gonna have a way to get it on because we don't have tools I didn't even think about that son of a bitch but uh, yeah so we're gonna have to figure something out here and I'll get you guys back to the new car that we picked up for the channel to keep us occupied with winter and rainy content and footage and stuff like that. Uh, we got some footage with it already yesterday when I hung out with my little brother. And yeah, we'll go ahead and toss that all in now. And hopefully Jake gets back soon with the belt and we can get out of here, get this fixed, and then get some more stuff going for you guys. So we'll get you guys in a minute. Just dodged a boot. So I'm guessing an explanation of what I like to affectionately refer to now as the G-Banger. Um, yeah, why did I trade a very nice C5 Corvette for a G35? Um, 
Those dogs are mad at me, that's for sure. Clearly, I don't even know where the hood prop is yet. I'm so new to it, but it's nothing fancy. It's your average DE, I think. Some, BC, some BCs, clearly I'm pointing where I wanna point. Um, nothing else, really, no leaks. All the gaskets are OEM replacements. It does have one of those fancy quail boys. Down here we do see a Grassroots Motorsports oil cooler and power steering cooler. It did come with, obviously, the new Motegis, front and rear. It came with some spares, actually, too, with some Valino Grivas on them. Um, I don't know crap about Grivas, except from what I've learned from Samit and watching Samit's videos. So I'm going to probably use them as steer tires. I have some that are kind of burned up. That we'll use as spares too, but we'll figure all that out, obviously, sitting in the car. They're just some nice stock 350Z seats. The interior is flawless, with a baby seat, of course. You know, gotta rip all the good stuff. Love Samit, love his channel, love the air fresheners. And I have a supply of them down there now too. Um, obviously, a little bit of a hydro. It's in line, it's not the best thing in the world, but it works. Um, short shifter, a Delrin shift knob, a nice wheel. The 350 seats sit nice, but I'm probably gonna get a bucket. And that's about it. I mean, what else do you say about a stock G35? It sounds good-ish for a VQ. I honestly hope it chucks a rod out the side of the block so I have an excuse to go LS. That would be the best thing. And the main reason I came out here is I needed to put the GoPro battery in the charger. But get back in the house now finish out this video and get the ender going. Now that would be how we test a car. A little more my style, day one of ownership, right? Um, took it out, put it through its paces, had some fun, drove, saw my brother, had some more fun, drove back home, had some more fun. Um, hopped out a buddy with this 240, which was fantastic. And when we end the video out here, we're gonna end it out with, yay! We have all of the parts to go ahead and start final assembly of the Envoy. I am missing, I think, one or two little fuel line pieces. Uh, I know the pressure regulator is the main thing that I need, but that's all fire up tune stuff. I have the majority of the fuel system, upgrades and everything with the injectors, the new lines, the new routing, how we're gonna do it, the 450 wall bro and all that, get all that done. But like I said, that's gonna be it for next video. Um, maybe, like 99% sure we're gonna go drifting this coming Saturday. Um, at Pat's Acres again. We'll take out the new daily drifter and have some fun with it. We got a little bit of work to do before then and I'm gonna try and get a bucket seat in. I really, I dig the 350Z seats it has in it but I would love a Sparco or something just to complete the package and tie everything off. But like I said, all for another video. Average Joe channel, let you go here and we're out.